Welcome back to this series of energy harvesting experiments. The idea today is to build on what we've learned so far and you will want to stick around to the end because it's a bit of a mic drop. First of all let's take the larger harvesting circuit over to the internet router. Well imagine my surprise when I brought it over here to the corner of the room where the internet router is. I've still got the piece of copper which is used as a ground plane but no antenna. If I shade this, you should be able to see it. There, it's simply flashing along. So it's harvesting with no antenna, but it does still have that ground. So the next thing to do will be to take the ground off. But that's quite a good flash rate. Now, as pointed out by DIY Desi, there was a bit of a ticking sound. And when I listen back to this, I'll have to see whether that comes out again. But I'm not sure whether it's the camera picking up electrostatics or what's going on but if you hear that ticking let's see if it does do it anyway the point is this circuit's running next thing take the ground off modify try and make the thing smaller or something and then we'll get a decent energy harvester so I've now removed that ground and you can't possibly see oops ah we're flashing away very merrily with no antenna, no ground on this other version of the circuit. So the next thing, reduce the size of all this and see if it still works. Oh and somebody else did mention the sound of that ticking and they didn't think it came from the router. Well here's the wall socket, there's only the adapter in there for the router. To the side of it is the cable that comes in through the wall um, for the internet. And then we've got the 3D printer here that I should start using again. I haven't for ages, of course it's not plugged in. I've got a TV here and a PS5, which again, you know, there's no power to. We do get a lot of power cuts and, the, you know, the flicker type of ones for about half a second or a second. It's no good for electronics, so I generally don't have things plugged in that don't need to be plugged in. So it has to be the router that's making this noise. Alright, well what I've come up with is this tiny little board now. It's got the scavenging circuit, the harvesting circuit on the right and the oscillating circuit on the left. And I've got a little LED in the middle of the coil. But it's only 150 plus 150 turns, which I've realised isn't going to be enough. Now, what I've decided to do, well, well let's test it first. I've decided to make another coil. I have to put my hand on this piece here. Then after a couple of seconds, there we go, it will start up with the flashing. But it is connected to a piece of copy there on top of the computer. So not really forwarding much except for the size. And that's what I've wanted to improve is the running. So what I've just built, and to replace the 150 turns, is a 300 plus 300 turns. And hopefully that will sort it out. Now I'm not quite sure why. It runs a bit worse than that one there, but I'm hoping it's the turns ratio that fixes it. So the next thing, swap those two coils over. That's the old one taken off. Now to put on the new one, you can see the difference in turns there. Eh? Alright, well there's some good news. Uh, there's the ground plane. I've connected up to the wire that goes outside. And this is actually a little brighter than it was with the other coil. There we are bit more of an angle there. So that's not too bad. I'm not sure what it's going to do otherwise but at least it's running. And still this one doesn't work on the left. So I had a look at the one here on the right which if I get this shaded correctly you should be able to see it's flashing very nicely indeed. I did do a modification to this when I put the blue LED on instead of the red because of the higher voltage the blues work out. I'd port 3.3 UF caps in parallel with the 1 UFs. Well, that's what I'm going to do to this. I'm going to change those two to 4.7s and that will equate. Let's see if that fixes it. Here's a bit better angle of this one. You can see it's quite the nice bright blue flash. And something else I noticed was even though it is already wirelessly picking up the energy, I can pick this thing up to quite a ways. 
I'd say about between half an inch and an inch off here and it still carries on quite merrily. So <laughs> as I say, nice bit of wireless range there as well for what it's doing. There we go, just found a couple of brand new 4.7 UFs, so I'll swap those over. Now this here, this third one, I thought was needed because generally these blocking oscillator circuits can struggle without a smoothing cap, a storage cap over the power rails. It doesn't seem to make a difference on this, but I think those two will. But finally, it's running, and I had to put this metal mass piece of copper on the negative and it looks like you know dis uh, difference in sizes wow very interesting but it is now running of course it does negate the whole idea of making one smaller but excuse the noises from the camera <laughs> there it is actually harvesting all oh, right okay and finally for this video that there is a pills bottle. It's four inches high. Now if this works, I think I deserve a like and subscribe. Place it on the top. And then we'll place this one on top. You can see it's evidently not running. Place that on top. Do you think it will actually do it? Look at this. It's harvesting energy with no antenna and no ground. 